Hi, welcome to Multiplication Mayhem. I'm Rachel and I'm going to be your guide this week through our times table challenge. Each day we're going to meet together, we're going to have a little bit of practice, we're going to have a quiz and we're also going to give you a challenge each day. As well as that, you get to practice at home in lots of different ways and each day you can mark off what you've been practicing to see if you can complete our circle over here. You will be setting yourself your own targets. We're not going to tell you what you need to practice. You're the owner of your learning, so you can take charge. Do you want to say a certain times table quicker? Do you want to be able to say one in any order? Do you just have like a few facts that you just keep getting mixed up? Put those down in the middle of your wheel and practice it each day. And at the end of the week, if you fill up in your circle, you get a certificate. Anyway, are you ready to start today's practice? It's a two, five and ten times table. Now, before some of you say, mm, that's too easy, been there, done that, got the t-shirt, hold on. I'm going to give you some extra challenges as well because the great thing about times tables is they're just a key to unlock more and more and more mathematical understanding. So if you know your two times table, you also know your two tenths times table. If you know your five times table, you also know your 50 times table. So there are also always ways that we can challenge you. Anyway, are you ready? Let's go. If you're anything like my kids, you will be picking up sticks whenever you go out exploring. So I have stolen one of their sticks. They're all in bed. And we're going to chant our two times table. Again, if you know your two times table, either just join in and have a bit of fun or challenge yourself and try and say the 0 0.2 times table, okay? We're starting at 1 times 2 because my stick isn't long enough and I'm going to go quite quickly, so take a deep breath. Are you ready? As soon as I point to it, we need to say it. Are you ready? 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 2 is 6, 4 times 2 is 8, 5 times 2 is 10, 6 times 2 is 12, 7 times 2 is 14, 8 times 2 is 16, 9 times 2 is 18, and 10 times 2 is 20. Fantastic. Have a little breather while I take off 7 times 2. When we get to 7 times 2, I want you to say it in a robot voice, okay? So something like 7 times 2 is 14, beep boop. And then all the others just in the normal voice. Are you ready? You ready? 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 2 is 6, 4 times 2 is 8, 5 times 2 is 10, 6 times 2 is 12, 7 times 2 is 14, beep boop, 8 times 2 is 16, 9 times 2 is 18, 10 times 2 is 20. Great, now we're going to take off this one. When we get to this one, two times two, two to, 4 times 2 is 8. We're going to say that in an opera voice. Now, don't get excited. I'm a terrible singer, but we're just having fun. So let's see how it goes. So it's opera voice, robot voice. You ready? One times two is two. Two times two is four. Three times two is six. Four times two is eight. Five times two is 10. Six times two is 12. Seven times two is 14. Beep, boop. 8 times 2 is 16, 9 times 2 is 18, and 10 times 2 is 20. Oh. Do you want to do one more? Okay, we're going to take off 9 times 2. When we get to that one, check with your grown-ups if you're allowed to do this. I want you to shout as loud as you can. 9 times 2 is 18, but as loud as you can. So we've got opera voice, robot voice, as loud as you can if your grown-up says that you can. Are you ready? One times two is two. Two times two is four. Three times two is six. Four times two is eight. Five times two is ten. Six times two is twelve. Seven times two is fourteen. Beep boop. Eight times two is sixteen. Nine times two is eighteen. Ten times two is twenty. <sighs> right. Relax a little bit, shake it out, and we're going to have a quiz next.
Now we're going to test your knowledge on your two, five and ten times tables. If you think that's too easy, don't worry. I will have an extra challenge for each question for you to answer. We're going to ask you a question and you're going to pause the video if you need it, answer it and then pick which team you are on. So you might want to be on the excellent Ezra team or you might want to be on the amazing Amelia team. It is up to you. You pick a team, you might want to divide into two teams at home. If you get a question right, you pop a balloon, there are points in, up to 500 points that you can get. Let's see who's going to win. The first question is an easy one to start with. What is two multiplied by 10? What is the product of two and 10? Pause now. The answer is 20 or 2.0, two holes. If you were doing the challenge, Ezra, it is your team's turn first. Pop a balloon. <laughs> right, see how many points you've got? Come over here, quick, quick, quick. So your team has got... 100 points well done 100 points the next question for the amazing amelia's team what is five squared what is five multiplied by five the answer is 25 or 2.5 if you were doing the decimal points amelia pop a balloon choose carefully <laughs> is it too windy Esther's got 100, you got 300 points. <laughs> Next question, a bit trickier. What is 10 times 12? What is 10 times 12? It's 120 or 12 holes if you were doing the decimals. Ezra, over to you. Can you beat 300? Woo! <laughs> I shouldn't scream every single time. I know it's coming. Do you think it's 100? It is 100. Next question. What is seven times two or what is double seven? The answer is 14 or 1.4. Amelia, it's over to you. Is she going to get another big one? I can't. Jump and do it. <laughs> oh, there we go. Get your point. Find the points, quick, quick, quick. Let's see how many points she's got. So you've already got 300 points. Let's see. She's got another, what? 400 points. So if you're on her team, you have got 700 points. Wowzer. We're halfway through the quiz. I've restocked the balloons. You've got two questions left each. What is, this is for which team now? Ezra, the excellent Ezra's team. What is 8 times 10? What is the product of 8 and 10? 80. No. <laughs> the answer is, you heard Ezra shout it, 80 or 8 if you were doing the decimals. Ezra, choose wisely. You need a big score to catch up. He's going for the pink. Oh no, you went for the yellow. Let's see what he does. We have... 200 so you've got 400 points all together and the amazing amelia's have 700 points. next question for the amazing amelia's team what is five times three what is five times three no. the answer is 15 or 1.5 amelia is it going to be pink or orange pink. okay off you go Right, let's see, you had 700 points. Now you have 900 points altogether. Well done. Last question for the excellent Ezra team. We'll wait for the ambulance to go past. There we go. Last question. What is, this is for the excellent Ezra's, 50 divided by five. What is 50 divided by five? Use your times tables to answer it. The answer is 10, because 10 times five is 50. Ezra, are you ready? Choose wisely. 
very wisely. He's going for the orange. Let's see what he's got. It is 400 points. This is the last question. I mean, yeah. I'm going to see if you can answer this one as well. What is zero times two? What is zero times two? The answer Yay! is... It's not, that's a tricky one. If you've got zero and you multiply it by anything, it's always going to be zero. Amelia, it's okay though. Are you ready to pop that balloon? Yeah. If it's a 500, you are pretty much wipe the floor with the excellent Ezra's. Yay. But you can try again tomorrow, see if he can win. Right, pop that balloon. Drum roll, please. Oh, come on, pop the balloon. <laughs> oh, there's a space. Try again, try again. Ah. Right, unroll it. Let's see. Bring it over here. <laughs> If it's 500, then you have definitely won. It is 500 points. The, but, but, the, 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 amazing, the amazing Amelia has won. Well done. Take a bow. Take a bow. Ezra, come here. Come here quickly. Tomorrow, we've got another quiz involving spaghetti. Do you think you can manage to win that one? Are you going to give it your best try? Yeah! Yes! I love spaghetti! Grab your pens and paper. It is time for a challenge. Get ready to listen. Let's go. So here's a little puzzle for you to work out using your times tables. So imagine you're off into outer space. You've got your rocket ship. You zoom off and you discover a brand new planet. It's beautiful. It's exciting. It's almost magical. As you explore, you find there are two types of aliens on this planet. There are the green aliens. They're very friendly and they have three eyes. And then their cousins are the yellow aliens. They're a bit taller and they surprisingly have five eyes eyes. You do a quick count up to see how many eyes you can see all together and you can see 37 eyes. If there are 37 eyes then how many green aliens and how many yellow aliens might there be? And how many ways can you work that out? So there you go, we've practiced, we've had our quiz and we've just had a challenge. You've got all day or all week to answer that. Take your time if you need some help, then no peeking yet. I have written some of the answers below. But if you've worked it out and your grown-up wants to tell me, they can join our Facebook group and let me know. I would love to hear all about it. But until then, have a lovely day and I will see you tomorrow bright and early for Multiplication Mayhem. Bye.